The ambition of Fable 2 extends far beyond wowing with pretty graphics. Oh, you'll get my booze back, won't ya? A tremendous amount of effort has been put into making Fable 2's story something special. I think for Fable 1 story, I thought it was pretty good. I thought, you know, we did a pretty good job of it. But it wasn't sophisticated in any way. Fable 2's story is just a wonderful, incredible story. And I really want you to feel things while that story's played out to you that maybe you haven't felt many times before, if only ever before. And when we sat down and did it, we, we kind of said, well, how are we going to tell a story that we, you will remember the rest of your life? That was really important to that idea is, I want you to remember the Fable 2 story the rest of your life. Now come with me. Instrumental to the development of the story was design director Dean Carter. You start off as a very, very powerless child. You're poor, you're desperate, your only companion is your sister, who's sort of your best friend as well. And we kind of show you how harsh the world is, really, and how, you know, how unkind it is to people in this day and age. What's it to you? Ah! Of course, with something like Fable 2, where you can do so many things, it's a huge problem trying to sort of construct a standard linear story, because you, know, you could start the game as a perfectly reasonable, normal person, and end up as a malodorous git or a complete saint. And don't you touch anything! So it's got to be something that affects him personally. No matter if he's the most evil person in the world, he's still going to go, actually, that's still going to spoil my day if Mr. Bad Person X does bad thing Y. Probably the toughest thing of all was we kept on saying is, no, we mustn't let the player put down the controller. When you put down the controller, it means you're a spectator again. When you've got the controller in your hand and you're doing something, it means you are, you know, you are the hero and you're the player. In even the very first cutscene in the game, not longer than a minute and a half, and then when you're in game, it's not longer than 20 to 30 seconds. Standard fantasy literature kind of tends to make these very arcane, very complex plots with loads of characters interwoven. Whereas what we try to produce is sort of something which is quite sort of simple and mythic by comparison. Something where you kind of clearly understand, here are the roles, here are the opportunities for you to be the kind of hero you want to be, and then let the player fill in their own story as much as we can let them. For me, at the end of the story, I think where I ended up with something where I kind of felt pretty emotional at the end. A few people are whispering of your deeds. I think it's a great ending. To the, to the story, I don't really do. Unexpected as well.